Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dom. In this video, we are going to learn how to use a surrogate key transformation in mapping data flow in your data factory. So a surrogate key transformation actually it creates a sequence number for your incoming records. So it's a new column that you can add to it. But real scenario does not really cover that. Sometime you might need to just add a sequence number so you can use it. But real scenario when you're loading the data to some table and then you are generating the surrogate key there. So let's say if your table has five records already, so the key is there one to five is already there now you have to start with the six so that's where the problem comes up so we are going to tackle that problem in this video and see how we can do that we are going to use lookup transformation or we are going to use some other transformations uh, in this uh, to get the max ID and uh, then uh, we are going to pass that to, to variable value and uh, eventually we are going to use that variable in the data flow so there is tons of things to learn in this uh, short video let's go ahead and take a look first of all uh, I have this table called total sale and I have created this uh, table in tech Res IT database so that's Azure database um, now this table has ID I did not do auto identity because I want to use this one as a surrogate key so I want to generate this by myself every time uh, now this table is there so uh, definition let me show you just do select query so there should be no record at this moment uh, now let's go ahead and run no record at all and then uh, what we are going to do we have some files sitting in the our uh, blob storage input folder or container here is the total sale Asia and uh, that's what the file is and you can see that it has the same columns uh, you know it's just we are going to use this uh, so right here this ID is there so what we can do we can either remove this ID uh, totally and then create this uh, ID you know that's uh, the purpose so I'm gonna just remove that I didn't know that uh, I have this uh, data sitting there with ID column or we could ignore this ID and uh, then I uh, just uh, use the newly generated the surrogate key ID so hit save here so as of now you can see that there is no ID in this data so we have to generate the ID every time let's close this so first of all what I would like to do I would like to go to the Azure Data Factory and create a pipeline so in this pipeline I'm going to go new pipeline and here I'm going to use a lookup why I want to use lookup because I want to get the max ID from this table so how I do that so first of all what I'm going to do here I will say select max ID as max ID from this table so let's execute and uh, it is returning us a null because there is no data so I cannot pass the null because first time when if I will run it is gonna uh, make everything null so I can do one thing I can say is null if that's true then uh, change to zero you know that will do it and next time it's not gonna be null so we will be all good so this will take care of that now we are returning zero if there is null otherwise we are returning the max value so take this query and now we go back to our Azure Data Factory. Here in the lookup, I'm going to go ahead and make a connection. So let me take you guys right there, go to settings. And here we are going to create a new data set, Azure SQL DB. That's what we are going to do because that's where our total sale table does exist. Create a new link service, use your subscription, use your database server name, use your database name, and then provide your username and password. So we are going to do that as well. Okay, test of a connection. Looks good. And we are going to create this one. I'm going to call this one LNK um, TB. Okay, that's uh, our link service. And now I will not be selecting table here because I would like to write a query. So I'm not uh, going to do anything here. Hit OK. And then I'm come right here and select query. I'm going to paste the query I just prepared my in a SSMS. So this looks good. Now this is a returning us the first row only. So it's going to always return us one row because we are using max ID from that table. Now that looks fine. And this uh, once this value is passed, we would like to set to a variable. So I'm going to go ahead and set to a variable. Now what we will do, we'll set uh, the value to the variable and I'm going to click right there and create our variable. So I'm going to call this one max ID. So it's uh, my string. I do not have integer, so unfortunately, so I'm going to go with the string here. Now in the lookup, after the lookup, I need to set the value to the variable. So I'm going to go set variable and here I will connect them. So I can just give a proper name to this uh, and here I will say LKP get max ID 
Okay, so we will have some naming convention going and then uh, we can say set max ID. That will do it and uh, now, okay. And what we'll do here, we are gonna go right there, variables, in the variable, select max ID, and here I'm gonna write those expressions. So in the expressions, we are gonna select the lookup, and then say dot first row, and then dot uh, max ID, okay? So that's what we are gonna get from there. Now, if I can go ahead and execute, I wanna show you how exactly it is working. So lookup is gonna get the max ID, and then it's gonna set the value of the variable. So we go right there, in the lookup we can see that max ID, and uh, it looks fine. And here in the variable, if I go right there, the value is this, and we have an error as well. So see that is a saying that max ID of a string type cannot be initialized. It's uh, because value is coming as an integer. Okay, not a big deal. We can go to variables here. And here I can say at the rate uh, to string and then put this everything in the parentheses. So we'll convert our uh, string actually at the rate string. So this is the function. So what it is doing, we are converting, sorry. So we are converting our integer value to the string. Okay, so then now we are setting the variable fine because our variable is the string type. That should take care of it. Okay, now it's uh, completed and you can see that the value is a zero for max ID. So now the interesting part starts. So we have to take this value and uh, go to the data flow. I'm gonna go to the data flow now and create our data flow here, new data flow. And uh, I'm gonna name this one uh, DF, DF load sale. Total sale. Okay, so what we need to do, first of all, we need to read the data. So we are gonna read the data from our uh, CSV file. Hit new data set and uh, go to the Azure Blob storage here and uh, then uh, CSV file and then we are gonna go create a new linked service. Uh, here I will be providing my subscription and then I will provide my storage account. Uh, I'm gonna test my connection and then all good here. And then now I will be selecting the file I need to load. Uh, so I can load the uh, total sale Asia. That's what the file we would like to load. And yes, it does have header. So now get the metadata or information about schema. That's fine. And now we should be all good here. It has 10 columns total. Now, next part starts where uh, we need to create uh, the sur surrogate uh, ID. So here I'm gonna go and add the surrogate key. And uh, here I will give this as key, okay? So this is, uh, if you see it is starting with the one. Uh, now, we can go right here and uh, refresh and uh, see the data. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna read all the records uh, from our CSV file and then add a new column called S key and uh, that will just add the sequence number. But in our case, uh, for first run it is fine because there is no data in the table, but on the next runs it will not be fine because every time it's gonna create one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, that's a problem. So we need to add the max ID to it. I guess that's where our actual uh, part is gonna work on. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna create our parameter in the data flow and I'm going to call it uh, DF max ID, okay? So this is our data flow max ID. It's uh, going to be a string here, let's say right now, uh, what we can do, we can uh, provide any value here, just maybe one, okay? Or 100, you know. Let, let's do with one. So now I'm gonna go here and uh, add a new column. So I'm gonna use drive column here. And then uh, I'm going to add two things. One, the S key column that we just created here, and then uh, the parameter. So that parameter will, will map to the pipeline uh, parameter. Remember that we got the max ID by using lookup and all that. So we are gonna pass that ID to it. Uh, and uh, here we are gonna call it uh, new S K or I will just simply call it ID, okay? Because we have, it will map automatically with our uh, destination because that's the name of ID. Now I will go to the expressions here and then uh, open expression. And here, uh, remember that I have to use, uh, first of all, S key, that's uh, creating one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna add to the parameter. So that parameter is the DF max ID. And now if I will uh, hit save and finish, it's gonna throw me error, why? because df max id is a string and s key is an is a integer. So I'm gonna go back and fix it. So let me go back here and here I will say to 
integer and then in the I just copy this part or I can remove everything here and I just leave the parentheses here and then click in the middle and then uh, I will go to parameters again and just click on DF for max ID now I'm uh, this is a remember this is sequence number created and this is the ID we have to pass from the pipeline and that's gonna be max ID in this case first time it's gonna be zero okay so we are all good here and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a sync to it now let's add a sync and here we are gonna make a connection to the Azure SQL DB go to link service and here we will create new link service select subscription select your server name select your database name and provide the username and authentication let's test our connection all good and here it is asking to which table you would like to load the data I'm gonna load the data to the total sale that's what our table name is and hit OK now you can go here in the mapping and uh, uh, take a look if you want to take a look on the mapping and map the columns the way you want it so in this case uh, if you see right there uh, if you want to say like item sold if you click here and say item sold here you can put that and all those uh, you know sold the uh, price so sold price and then you have sold date sold date right there so you can map all those columns right there okay looks fine now what we are gonna do here we are gonna go ahead and use this uh, data flow in our pipeline and if you remember this is the pipeline where we are getting the max uh, ID but this max ID variable is not being used anywhere as of now so we are gonna bring our data flow and if you guys remember in the data flow we created the parameter that we used in the drive column in concatenation so here I go to the data settings and select my data flow load data flow total sale go to parameter and here see this uh, DF max ID was one that I set uh, then uh, by what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set that to the pipeline expressions and here I will use uh, the variable called max ID so the first time the variable is zero it's fine it's gonna just uh, use the S keys we created uh, in the surrogate keys and add to it uh, next time the max uh, ID will be whatever the max ID coming from the table and then uh, it will be added to the those surrogate keys uh, those are sequence number created with the uh, one increment um, and that will be done well let's debug uh, and see what happened so our lookup uh, it got the first uh, I, uh, max ID so as of now there's no record here so we got zero and then uh, it's the pass that value to the set variable so zero is passed to there and then it called the data flow now inside the data flow what's happening uh, we have these uh, CSV file so first uh, all the records are read then uh, surrogate key is created now with the surrogate key we created those uh, remember the numbers one two three and all and then uh, we are adding those one two three and all with max ID value that uh, we came from the pipeline and we did the parameter mapping between data flow parameter and variable from the pipeline so you can see right there it's running right now and let's wait for it to get it finished our data flow has been completed successfully and what we are gonna do here we are gonna go right there and take a look in this table so now it should have the records and you see that it has the records starting from one and going to all the way to eight these are the surrogate keys we have created now as of now uh, looks good and uh, let's go back and make some changes to the file so the next record uh, that it should insert is which should be starting from number nine and uh, keep moving forward so let's go back here and uh, I'm gonna go to the total sale Asia CSV file edit and uh, I'm going to you can leave these records uh, all as it is or you want to remove some of them you can and also if you want to change the data it's not gonna be major impact uh, because we really are not doing uh, uh, any other uh, changes you know here so we are uh, just having two records save it and uh, let's go ahead and close it let's go back here on the pipeline execution I want to show you a few things here so if you click right there and uh, if you see the first time max ID was a zero because there was no data in the table now this time when it's gonna run it's gonna have eight the value eight and then it's gonna load two records so eight plus one nine and eight plus uh, and then the nine plus one is ten so there will be two surrogate keys will be created so we should be good here let's run it so let's go to the 
max id so see right there that's the max id it got from the table now and uh, this will be passed to the data flow and uh, then uh, use in the drive column where we added this value to the surrogate key column value so that should do it okay our data flow has been completed successfully and uh, now we can take a look uh, here if i go to source two rows are red because we delete all the rows and we left with one and uh, there are two rows here you know and then uh, drive column and two rows has been written so let's go to the table and select the data now you can see that uh, the data is written to the table and uh, the surrogate key or id started with the nine so every time uh, remember the sequence is going to get the max id by using lookup then it's going to save to the variable and then uh, once it's saved to the variable it's going to pass that value to the data flow parameter right here so the data flow parameter we created and the uh, max id the variable value is passed to it and then uh, from there uh, it's going to use in drive column and finally you know uh, written to the table so i hope this video is helpful thanks very much for watching please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video